Lesson 7, Selected Problems, Part 1. Example 37, the sum of the second and third terms of a geometric progression is 6 times the fourth term. Find the two possible values of the common ratio solution. This problem centers around the nth term formula of a geometric progression. We need the second, third, and fourth terms. At the second term, n is equal to 2. You replace n with 2 here. You have it in this form. That is a arrow. At the third term, n is equal to 3. You replace n with 3. That is a arrow square. At the fourth term, n is equal to 4. You replace n with 4 in the nth term formula and you have a arrow cube. Sum of the second and third terms. That is t sub 2 plus t sub 3. It is equal to 6 times the fourth term in this form. You replace the second, third, and fourth terms with what they stand for. You have this result. We can get quadratic equation and to achieve that, we have to transfer these two terms to the other side you have it in this form and you equate it to zero a is common and arrow is common so divide through by a arrow and you have six arrow squared minus arrow minus one equal to zero a quadratic equation in variable arrow the common ratio to solve you need to factorize to achieve that you can visit my teachings on quadratic equations when you factorize you have this result you group the terms in twos you have this result from each group factor out the common term you have this result at this point 2 arrow minus 1 is common. When you factor it out again, you are left with 3 arrow plus 1 that we combine to form the other factor you equate it to 0. You equate each factor to 0. You transfer the constant terms respectively. Here, divide through by 2 and divide through by 3. Then you have arrow equal to 1 over 2 or minus 1 over 3. Number 38, find the sum of the first 40 odd numbers. Solution, first 40 odd numbers follow the pattern below 1 3 5 7 9 11 13 and so on the pattern follows an ap rule since there is a constant common difference so the sum of the first 40 odd numbers can be obtained using this formula where n is equal to 40 the first term a is equal to 1 the common difference is 2 that is 3 minus 1 or 5 minus 3 you have 2 you come here and replace n with 40 a with 1 and d with 2 you have this result. Divide 40 by 2, you have 20. 2 minus 1 is 2. 
40 minus 1 that is 39 times 2 you have to multiply first before you add so you have this result and this result when you multiply you have 1600 as the sum of the first 40 odd numbers example 39 the first and third terms of a geometric progression are 1 and 9 respectively what is the second term solution inappropriate understanding can make a student come up with two equations in order to find the first term and common ratio before finding the second term this approach is correct but we take longer time to do so let the terms of the gp be first term second term third term first term is one let the second term be s and third term nine according to the question common ratio is always second term over first term and that is equal to third term over second term so second term is s over first term one and it is equal to third term nine over second term s you simply cross multiply and you have s squared equal to nine to get s take the square root of both sides and s the second term is equal to three example 40 a ball was dropped from a height 80 meters above a concrete floor it rebounds to a height of one over two that is half of the previous height at each rebounds after how many bounces is the ball 2.5 meters high that is the last bounce is this but how many bounces before the ball we get to the last height solution let us get a pattern here first bounce t sub 1 is equal to 80 meters second bounce that is rebounds it is half of the first bounce so second bounce t sub 2 is equal to 80 meters times 1 over 2 that is 40 meters third bounce it is also a rebounce it is half of the second bounce that is 40 meters times 1 over 2 that is 20 meters and so on this pattern follows a GP with nth term the last term equal to this the first term a is equal to 80 the common ratio is either second term divided by first term or third term divided by second term whichever way you have one over two number of bounces n is unknown and the last bounce t sub n is equal to 2.5 if you convert to ordinary fraction you have 5 over 2 we have to replace everything in the nth term formula and you have this result the nth term is 2.5 now 5 over 2 the first term is 80 
common ratio is 1 over 2 and number of bounces is unknown so you have n minus 1 we need to simplify this term in order to get n the solution continues this is what we want to simplify n minus 1 is the power to the base number 1 over 2 you can split it into two forms and you have this result given the base power n and given the base power of minus 1 you continue to do away with this negative power you simply interchange 1 and 2 to be 2 and 1 the power becomes positive that is power of plus 1 from here we have 5 over 2 equal to this we need to clear the fractions to do that this term is here you multiply through by 2 this 2 now to clear fraction 2 divided by 1 is 2 so you have 2 times 2 this 2 multiply through to remove this 2 from here it will multiply the terms here then this 2 is also there and this term to make this term stand alone you divide through by 2 times 2 times 80 you have this result when you simplify you have this result then 1 over 64 we can express this such that the base is 1 over 2 so that when you equate the bases the powers are equal you can express 64 to have base 2 that must be 2 power 6 you can also express 1 as power 6 it remains the same that means power 6 is common you can factor it out at this point you equate the basis and you have it that n is equal to 6 thus it was after n minus 1 that is 5 bounces that the ball was 2.5 meters high from this term you know the term always decrease by 1 in a geometric progression so n is 6 you decrease it by 1 so you have 5 bounces example 41 the third and seventh terms of an ap are 27 and 91 respectively find a part of the question the first term and common difference b the 22nd term of the ap solution you have to apply the nth term of an ap in order to get the first term and common difference questions like this always lead to a system of linear equations for arithmetic progression third term is equal to 27 at that point n is 3 you come here and replace n with 3 you have this result the third term is 27 and it is equal to first term plus 2d 3 minus 1 that is 2 times d you have this so let's call that equation 1 seventh term is equal to 91 at that point n is equal to 7 you come here again and replace n with 7 
you have this result the seventh term is equal to 91 and it is equal to first term a plus six times common difference that is six d seven minus one is six times d you have six d you can call that equation two to proceed you have to solve equations one and two simultaneously using any of the methods the solution continues you have equation one equation two i want to solve using elimination method in order to eliminate variable a i have to subtract so here is minus a minus a equal to zero if you open this bracket with this minus sign here becomes minus and here is also minus therefore plus 2d minus 6d you have minus 4d 27 minus 91 you have minus 64 it follows that minus 4d is equal to minus 64 to get d divide both sides by minus 4 and d is equal to 16. to get the first term you need to substitute the value of d equal to 16 into any of the equations i'm using equation one this is equation one you replace d with 16 in this form so to get a you have to transfer this term which is 32 to the right it becomes negative so the first term a is equal to 27 minus 32 and that is minus 5. a part of the equation the first term is minus 5 the common difference is 16. b part is to find the 22nd term at that term n is equal to 22 you replace n using 22 in the nth term formula this is the nth term formula so you replace n with 22 first term with minus 5 common difference with 16 you have this result so you have minus 5 plus 22 minus 1 that is 21 times 16 you need to multiply before you add so you have minus 5 plus 336 and that is 331 as the 22nd term of the ap whose first term is minus 5 and the common difference is 16. end of lesson 7 thanks for following to the end don't forget watch out for more from the voice of peter Kors. lastly if you are not safe your life is in crisis your life is in trouble to avoid all of that you have to give your life to the one that can save you and that is the lord jesus christ and confess him as your lord and personal savior every day of your life if you are saved already congratulations live righteously and be prepared because on the last day some will be taken and some will be left be good to yourself stay out of trouble study your books do the needful at all times flee every appearance of evil don't defraud others to make money find something good and genuine to do with your hands and your brain and the lord will bless you goodbye and stay tuned